everybody and welcome to today's video on how to create a meal plan template. It's great to have you here today to learn more about this feature. So all you have to do to find the meal plan templates is go onto the library and you'll see on the left hand side we have the meal plan template page available here. I've already built a couple of templates out so we are going to be using one of these examples today. But If you wanted to create a meal plan from scratch you can click on to create meal plan. You can choose the cover image, the name, the number of weeks that meal plan will be, the owner and you can choose whether to share that with your team or not. So today we're going to focus on the healthy starter plan I've built out. It's got some pre-populated recipes, so you'll be able to see this is how it looks when you add recipes into a meal plan. You'll see it's split up into the different meal types. You get the macro information on those individual recipes that you've added. And you can scroll between the different days. So I'm on week one here and you'll see every single day is available. If I wanted to make any edits, what I can do is go into edit mode. Uh, you'll see this is published, so it'll just unpublish it. Uh, so you can then publish the changes. You can edit these meal plans by each specific day. So I can X out any of the recipes. I can go ahead and add the other meals. I can use these filters, breakfast, lunch, dinner. I can use these further filtering options for the number of calories and the dietary information. You'll also be able to change the name of these different sections. So you'll see this is called lunch. But if I wanted to change that, then I could do. And I can also add notes too. So I'll be able to add a note. I've got welcome to your first meal, uh, first meal plan available here. So this is what a built out meal plan week will look like. Just to show you how you can build out a brand new week and show you what a more empty version looks like, I can go to week two. So this gives me loads of options to go ahead and begin adding those meals. You'll see the macros are empty. I can leave a new note. But to add a meal on that first Monday on day eight, I can go to add meal. I can choose breakfast for that first filter. We can go for these pancakes. For lunch, I can then use the lunch filter. I can go for all of our recipes. Uh, let's say we're going for this cheeseburger salad. Same with dinner. Uh, we can go for some duck. And then for the snack, you can add a snack as well. So you can add a couple of snacks there. You'll see the daily nutritional total, the macros pops up here. So you can make those very specific to your, an individual and what their macros goals will be. So we're talking about templates. So I can save this. And then if I go back, you'll see that that auto populates straight away into the meal plan. But using these as templates, there is a, a slight method to it. So I can go ahead and assign this meal plan to individuals. I can also assign it to a group of clients. So you can use it as a base template. If you then wanted to go in and make some individualized changes to an individual, then you can go onto your active clients that are in this meal plan. You can click onto their page and it takes you straight to the individual client page. So this is where you can see what meal plan they're in. Uh, you can remove them from this meal plan. You can go back to the starting dates and view extra details. You can assign them a meal plan through this page you can see the macros breakdown and whether they're hitting their goals, whether they're not. And you can go ahead and make any individual edits. So you can see I'm a bit behind on protein, carbs. If I wanted to add, let's say, an extra snack for my clients to have, then I could add that in here and add a high protein snack that will then help them reach their macros goals. So that's how you'll start being able to create templates and add more automation into this system. You can use those templates and then go in and make those individualized changes to the structured meal plans. I hope this overview was helpful. If you have any questions, then be sure to reach out.